Holy crap, it's Scorpio. I love Scorpios. You know who I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Miss S, I'm not going to say your full name because I don't know if you want to be outed. But Miss S, yes, girl. I'm so proud of you. Miss S just redecorated and everything looks fantastic. And, uh, you know, very Scorpio of her. Everything looks on point, very sharp, very put together. So let's see what's going on with Scorpios here for July 2023. Ooh, money cards right away. Good money coming in, all sorts of good stuff. If you are new here, please don't forget to hit like, share, subscribe, comments, and utterances of discontent will be met with love and humor. Um, I've been getting hate comments lately. I love the hate comments because they have my algorithms. Also, I just hit 900 subscribers. If you can please subscribe and get me over a thousand, that will help my YouTube algorithms so freaking much. And it, it, you know, it just, it, and you get a free reading. I will send you a free reading every single month for the rest of your freaking life. Okay. So it's worth it. Don't forget to hang in there because I'm going to do your tarot cards, but I'm also going to do your astrology at the end. So let's see Scorpio. Everything's coming together for you. Miss S is going to love this. Um, looks like in spring things kind of took a turn. Uh, maybe April, May time period, things kind of went backward. And then in June, things started to get back on track. This was a time period, Scorpio, where you were like, I am the most important. I am the exalted. I, I am the queen or the king. You know, this is what I need to do. I need to move forward in things. That is excellent because that set you on track for July. Now, July shows stability, money, and relationship. I mean, shit, what else do you want? I mean, pfft. I thought the Virgo readings were good. These are really good readings. So... Your center card is of money. If there has been any money worries on your head at all, please know that that is going to clear up. Now, it may clear up completely or it may just start to clear up, but it doesn't matter because it's clearing up. Okay, so if you just see kind of the beginnings of clearing up, great. If you see um, actual like really like checks coming in, like stuff getting paid, like, you know, uh, you meet, you meet uh, the perfect roommate and they're paying half of the bills and all of a sudden you get an extra like $1,000 that's fine. It's, there's, everybody's on a scale of what money coming in means. Some people want it to mean winning the lottery. Some people want it to mean, Hey, I'm just starting to see the, the light at the end of the tunnel. So, um, yeah, it's happening in July, wherever you are, you're going to be on that continuum. I don't know where you're going to be. These are, these are just general readings for your Zodiac sign. Don't forget you have, a um, a moon sign and a rising sign also. So you want to check those, just Google your birth date and put in rising sign, moon sign, and then come back and watch all three readings that I have available for free. Don't forget they're for free. Or you can get a reading with me. I have uh, text readings available and I have phone readings available. I am having flash sales too. You want to sign up to all my social medias because I just had a flash sale this week where if you bought a phone reading, you got a free text reading. So it's they're really good sales. I'll have another one popping up this week. So you better keep your eye out. Sign up for all my social medias because I rotate randomly where they're going to pop up. Okay. But that being said, um, there's somebody coming in here. You have relationship stuff. Now this shows honeymoon. Honeymoon could be your person that you're with that you, um, you kind of go through a honeymoon period. There's a Renaissance. Things are getting better. Things are nicer. Things are happier, you know, cause we all go through like, you know, waves and relationships, or it could be a new person coming in, or it could be a reconciliation. This is a rainbow card. If you see it's a rainbow. Okay. And that's, that's literally showing over the rainbow. So that's like hopes and wishes, dreams, things are coming fulfilled for you. Okay. And also I really like this card with this card. They juxtapose each other really nicely because this falling tower is actually upside down, right? Which means stability. It means the tower fell. Everything already went to shit. It can't go to shit anymore. And now you get to use the bricks and rebuild. So if there's a relationship relation relationships if there's a relationship aspect coming in for you scorpio just know that that's going to get rebuilt and that's going to be really good now this can also because we're reading this as a money reading this can also mean that there is a new business prospect there is a um things that work are good things with career are good and this can also be you know a a, a new business partnership even if you work at a place and get a paycheck, it could be that you get a new coworker you really like, something like that. But if you want to read it, if you're having relationship with a P issues, then that's what you want to read that as. But the center card does mean that money is clearing up for you, Scorpio. And then going forward, really, really good. It shows that through, especially through August, 
It's kind of funny. This is an eight card and it is in the August position. It's showing that you're going to have strength. You're going to con continue this power. You're, it, you're on kind of a power run right now where you're like running through the end zone and things are really good. You're going to continue this power through August. And then in September, it says there's no judgments is literally what that means. There's no judgments. There's, there's nobody on the sideline that's going to be kicking your teeth in and telling you, hey, you need to do something better. So that's really good. But you, we don't worry about September. You know why? Because you're coming back. You're coming back. You're going to sign up and you're going to come back and we're going to talk every single month and you're going to call me down below. Don't forget spells, readings, magical products, all sorts of cool shit. So let's check your astro dice. You got the moon in Scorpio, of course, shocker in your first house. I mean, what else do you want? What else do you want, Scorpio? Bajibus. Okay. So first house is all about self. It's about personal identity. You are redefining your personal identity. This is going to happen throughout July. You're going to keep re-identifying yourself. Um, and what I mean by that is like, um, you know, it can be, uh, you know, some people I know come to me and they're like, I am going to stop having clutter. I'm not going to clutter anymore. Uh, by the way, I, I talked about in the other video, I forgot to mention this video. I have a very, 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 very large dog right behind me. Um, weighs almost as much as I do. And he is chewing on a hoof and it's really loud. So if you hear crunchy, weird noises, that's, that's what that is. Um, I mentioned it in the other video and I totally forgot to mention it in this one. Uh, so anyway, so it's all about self. It's like, how am I defining myself now? A lot of people come to me and they talk about, I'm going to stop being, um, uh, uh, not dirty, uh, not hoarding. What do you call it? Cluttered. I'm going to stop being cluttered. I'm going to declutter everything. I'm going to do this, you know, and that's like going to be their new identity, right? So they go out and they get all these boxes and they get this and the other, and they start decluttering and it's really helpful. It's super, super helpful. So there's going to be, I'm not saying you're going to change your whole personality, but there is going to be an identity shift that will happen in July. That's for your benefit because it isn't Scorpio. So let's see. And Scorpio score everything everything next to Scorpio intensifies. So if we had a money thing here, it would be intensified money. If we had a love thing here, it would be intensified love. What this is showing me is your need for change and your need for identity is going to be intensified in July. Okay. And that only intensifies even more with the moon because the moon is the mother. The moon is the goddess. The moon is um, makes things happen. The moon is the manifester, but the moon also rules depression. So you want to be very careful here that you don't push yourself too, too, too hard. Okay. Now, Scorpio, I hope this helped with absolutely everything. Please go to my store. And if you, if you are a regular of mine, write in the comments down below, tell everybody how awesome the store is and how awesome it is to get a reading from me. I will help you out. However you need Scorpio, let me know if you need readings or you need manifestation or you need products. Go down below. Links are down below or my phone number is down there. If you need help shopping, text me. Do not call me, but text me and I will hook you right up. Thanks, Scorpio. Have a great July.